If you want these cool little um, circles to appear that becomes kind of like a checklist for students as they go through the module, you need to set up module requirements. This is what it looks like from the student view when you have those set up. So they open up the module, they go through the first page. As they go through the content and the activities, Canvas puts little check marks here once they've completed um, in this case, viewing those pages. You can see at the top it shows them that they've started this module, they haven't yet completed it. So then if they came back to it, they get back in, they're looking at a content page here, they participate in a discussion, it takes them to the next, let's pop out again and see if it logged our completion of those activities, yes, yes. I go back in and I take the survey. So it logs the completion of those. Let's see if I got that one. Yes, and then I'm gonna jump back into my assignment that I need to submit. Submit the assignment and go to the next page and I viewed the final page of the module. So it should give me a check mark that I've completed. There's my check that I've completed the module. So the way that you set that up, let me leave student view, okay? I go in here, I hit edit. I'm gonna add requirements. They must complete all of these requirements and the list that it gives me here is the seven things that are in my module. So I've got four pages, a discussion, a quiz, and an assignment. Those are, the, those are the seven things we just looked at. So you can decide for the orientation overview page what is complete. Is it viewing it? Do they have to actively mark it as done? Or is it a wiki page that they have to contribute to? In my case, it's just viewing that page, viewing the next page. So it's viewing four pages and doing the icebreaker. So they need to submit that assignment. They need to submit the quiz and they need to um, submit the assignment number one. Notice this is not the same order as my module and that's okay. okay. So they have to do all of these requirements and they don't have to move through them in sequential order. Um, the way that I had it set up as we were just looking at in student view, it just, um, they just had to view all of them um, and they didn't, it didn't force them to go through it sequentially. Though I do have that option. If I wanted it, I could keep that box checked. Okay. Now I update the module and I can go and um, double check student view. So that's real quick on how to get those check boxes to appear as students move through the requirements of a module.